Good morning students. Welcome to online classes of St. Joseph's Academy. I am Akanksha, your math teacher. Today, I am going to start exercise 8C. So, let's start. I am going to start this video with question number 6. And the question number 6 is Fill in the smallest digit that makes the number divisible by the 1 in the square. The first question given to you is, in the square it is given 2. And the number given with this is 6. Now you have to write a digit, a smallest digit that makes the number, new number divisible by 2. So we can write here the 0. Now the number becomes 60 and we know that 60 is an even number and every even number is divisible by 2. Again, now the B part given to us is in the square, the number given to us is 2 again. And now the number given is 1 dash 8. So we have to write the smallest digit that makes the number divisible by 2. So the smallest digit we can write here 0 because at the 1's place it is given 8. The number is 108 which is an even number and every even number is divisible by 2. Now question number C is in the square the number given to us is again 2. And the number given to us is 5, 5, 3, dash. So the smallest digit which we can write here is 0. Now it becomes an even number and that number is divisible by 2. Now the D part, question number D is, in the square, the number given to us is 3. And the digit given to us is 1. And then we are having a dash. So the divisibility rule for 3 is the sum of the digit must be divisible by 3. So 1 is given. Now we have to write the smallest digit that makes the number divisible by 3. So the smallest digit we can write here 2. Now the number becomes 12 and we know that 12 is the multiple of 3. Now the next question given to us E part. E part given to us is the number in the square is 3 and the digit given to us is 2, 7 and dash. 2 plus 7 is 9. So the next smallest digit we can write here is 0. Now, this number is divisible by 3. Now, the F part is, in the square, number given to us is 3. And the digits given to us is 5 dash 2. Now, see, 5 plus 2 is 7. And the number divisible by 3, we need 9. So we can add, write 2 here. Now it is divisible 
by 3. 2, 5 plus 2 plus 2 is 9. And 9 is divisible by 3. Now I am going to write the G part. In the G part, the, four, the number given in the square is 5. And the digit given to us is 4 and dash. Now we know that the divisibility rule of 5 is the number must and with 0 or 5. So the smallest number we can write at the end is 0. Now I am going to write H part. In the square, the number given to us is 5. And the digits given to us is 3, 4, dash, 0. So the smallest number we can write here is 0 because already it is end with 0. So it is the number is divisible by 5. Now I am going to write I part. The number in the square given to us is 5 and the digits given to us is dash 8, 2, 6 and 5. Now the smallest number which we can add here, which we can write the beginning is 1. Now, this number is divisible by 5. Now, I am going to write G part. The number in the square is 10. And the number given to us is dash 7, 0. Now, the divisibility rule for 10 is the number must end with 0. Already it is given 0 here. So, with the smallest number we can write in the beginning is 1. Now, I am writing the K part. The number in the box in the square given to us is 10. And the digits are 3, 4, 5 and dash. Obviously, we are going to write 0 here. Then only the number must be divisible by 10. Now, I am writing the last part for this question is L. And the number in the square is 10. And the digits given to us is 9, 0, dash. We can write here 0, then only the number is divisible by 10. Now, the question number 7 is, to be divisible by the second number, what smallest number should be added to the first? Now, the first part given to us is, 230, 243. The number given to us is 243. And it should be divisible by 2. Now what we have to add in this number so that it will be divisible by 2. So we know that we need an even number which can be divisible by 2. So to make this number even, the smallest number which we can add is 1. So we can write here 243 plus 1 equals to 244 and this number is divisible by 2. Now I am going to write the B part. The 
the B part is 37. Now to make this number divisible by 10, what you have to be add? So obviously we are going to add 3 in the 7. So we write 37. If we add 3, it will become 40. And now this number is divisible by 10. Now the C part given to us is 2000, 2981. And what should we add in this number? In the last digit in this number to make it divisible by 5. So divisibility rule for 5 is the number must be and with 0 or 5. So we are going to add the smallest numbers we are going to add in this number 2981 is 4. Now it becomes 2,985. Now this number is divisible by 5. Now the D part given to us is, the number given to us is 401. And now we are going to make it divisible by 3. So what we have to add here. Now the 4 plus 1 is 5. But 5 is not divisible by 3. But 6 is divisible by 3. So we are going to add in 401 is 1. This is the smallest number which we can add in 401 to make it divisible by 3. So it will become 402. And this number is divisible by 3. Now the E part is 7000. 291 divisible by 3. Now to make this number divisible by 3, we are going to add 2,000, 7,291 plus 2. So it will become 7,200. 93. Now this number is divisible by 3. Now the next question, question number 8 is, what smallest number should be subtracted from the first number to make it divisible by the second number? Now the first question given to us is the A part the number given to us is 75 and we are going to make it divisible by 2. So what we have, what smallest number we have to subtract from 75 to make it divisible by 2 is we are going to subtract <coughs> 1 from it. <coughs> so we are going to subtract 1 from 75. We will get 74. And 74 is divisible by 2. Now the B part given to us is 989 divisible by 10. To make it divisible by 10, we need 0 at the 1's place. So we are going to subtract 9 from 989. 9. So it will become 980. Now this number is divisible by 10. The C part is 2012 and make it divisible by 5. So we need 0 or 5 at the ones place. So to make it to make it divisible by 5, we are going to subtract 2 from it. So it will become 2010. Now this number is divisible by 5. 
Now the D part is 3652. To make it divisible by 3, we are going to subtract 1 from it. 3652 minus 1. Now it will become 3651. And this number is divisible by 3. Now the last E part is 1637. Make it divisible by 3. We have to subtract 2 from it. So 1637 minus 2. When we subtract it, we'll get 1635. You can add and you can check also whether this number is divisible by 3 or not. See, 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, and 10 plus 5 is 15. The sum of these digits is 15, and 15 is a multiple of 3. So, the given number is divisible by 3. Now, the question number 9 is, find the biggest four-digit number divisible by five and also find the smallest five-digit number multiple of ten. So first of all we are going to write the biggest four-digit number. So the greatest four-digit number is greatest four digit number is 9999 and to be divisible to be divisible by Five, the number has to add the number has to end in zero or five. So therefore, the greatest four digit number the greatest four digit number divisible by five is 9,995. 9,995. And also we have to find out the smallest five digit number multiple of 10. So the smallest five digit number is the smallest Five digit number is ten thousand and ten thousand is and ten thousand is the multiple of The last question given to us is find the smallest three digit multiple of five. 
Also find the greatest five digit number divisible by three. So the smallest three digit number is, first of all we'll write the smallest three digit number. The smallest three digit number is 100. And we can see 100 is the multiple of 5. Now the next question is also find the greatest 5 digit number. So first of all we will write the greatest 5 digit number. The greatest 5 digit number is 99,999 and this number 99,999 is divisible by I hope you all understand, all understood these questions. Thank you so much.